Every so often, life surprises us with a golden ticket, a lottery win that promises to transform our world. The very thought of sudden wealth can set our hearts racing and ignite vivid dreams of luxurious living, financial freedom, and boundless possibilities. Yet, amid the euphoria, one voice of reason shines through, offering invaluable advice. Mark Cuban. He's not just an entrepreneur, he's a maverick, an iconoclast who scripted his own narrative in the annals of success. Cuban is more than just a name, he's an emblem of audacity and innovation. Before the world knew him as the owner of the Dallas Mavericks or as a charismatic shark on Shark Tank, Mark Cuban was the embodiment of the American dream. He's the man who spun a web of success from the threads of grit and determination. His journey wasn't paved with silver spoons, it was etched with sweat and resilience. But what truly makes Mark Cuban captivating isn't just his wealth, it's his wisdom. He's the sage of financial insight, the mentor who shares his journey's lessons with those who dare to listen. His words are a roadmap, a guide to those who aspire to write their own success stories. You might wonder, why is Mark Cuban suitable for advising a potential lottery winner? The answer is twofold. Firstly, he's experienced the euphoria of sudden wealth, which often accompanies a lottery win. Secondly, he's mastered the art of wealth preservation and growth, ensuring that fortune doesn't slip away as quickly as it came. In a world where billionaires often seem distant and aloof, Mark Cuban is the exception. He's the billionaire next door, the one who epitomizes the idea that audacity, innovation, and authenticity are the keys to unlocking the doors of success. Mark Cuban's journey from rags to riches and his subsequent mastery of financial wisdom make him an ideal mentor for those on the cusp of a life-altering lottery win. His advice isn't just a set of guidelines, it's a beacon of hope, a roadmap to navigate the treacherous waters of newfound wealth. The renowned entrepreneur and investor with his sage counsel reminds us that before we dive into the enchanting sea of wealth, there's a vital first step that can make all the difference. Imagine you've won the lottery and the world is at your feet. What does Mark Cuban insist you do first? Buckle up as we embark on a journey to unravel the wisdom of this first step after winning the lottery. In the labyrinth of life where most of us tread through the daily grind, the dream of winning the lottery gleams like a distant star. It's a dream filled with the promise of newfound possibilities, an escape from financial worries, and the thrilling notion that we might finally get to savor life's sweetest fruits. Imagine for a moment that your numbers align, the stars smile upon you, and that golden ticket to fortune falls into your hands. It's a moment of exhilaration, an exhilarating leap into a world where debts are vanquished, homes are dreamier, and adventures await. But within the exhilaration, there exists a story untold, one that transcends the initial euphoria and forces us to consider what lies beyond the glimmer of a lottery win. The promise of the American dream met in the most extraordinary way, a promise that seems unbreakable yet often comes with unforeseen complications. It's this delicate balance between dream and reality that Mark Cuban's advice seeks to navigate. The profound wisdom he imparts about the first step you should take when the universe places a bounty at your feet. For in the world of lottery wins, the dream realized can quickly turn into a double-edged sword, and the wise first step can make all the difference. So let's dive deeper into this journey where we explore not just the thrill of the lottery win, but the consequences it carries and the pivotal counsel of Mark Cuban that sets the tone for the next chapter of life. So what is Mark Cuban's wisdom? Well, it is hiring a financial advisor. Mark Cuban, the entrepreneurial maverick and investor extraordinaire, has etched his name in the annals of finance with his sagacious insights and remarkable success. When it comes to the colossal life change that winning the lottery represents, he doesn't mince words. He emphasizes a paramount first step, hiring a financial advisor. The reasons behind this recommendation are manifold, and Mark Cuban's own experiences in the world of finance lend it weight. Cuban underscores the importance of expert guidance by stating, when you win the lottery, hire a financial advisor. They're your first line of defense to make sure your newfound wealth is managed properly. This expert guidance is not to be underestimated. A financial advisor, as Cuban suggests, is a trained professional with a deep understanding of the intricacies of wealth management. 
a financial advisor's role extends beyond the mere handling of money. They are a crucial source of financial wisdom, offering a roadmap to navigate the often complex world of investments and financial planning. As Cuban elaborates, they help you understand what your options are. They can walk you through the best strategies to protect your wealth and make it last. The lottery win is just the beginning of an entirely new journey. It's a journey where security, stability, and the ability to provide for the future are paramount. Cuban's financial counsel underlines the significance of avoiding the pitfalls that many lottery winners unknowingly tumble into. A lot of lottery winners end up broke because they don't know how to handle the money. They spend it all without thinking about taxes or investments, he remarks, highlighting the disastrous consequences of reckless financial decisions. A financial advisor with their expertise can safeguard your wealth and ensure it is efficiently invested, securing your long-term financial well-being. This wisdom is particularly crucial given the emotional roller coaster that often accompanies a lottery win. As Cuban empathizes, the lottery is life-changing and emotional. A financial advisor can help keep emotions in check and ensure that rational decisions are made. While hiring a financial advisor is the crucial first step, the billionaire entrepreneur offers a constellation of guidance for navigating the uncharted waters of a lottery win. The allure of the lump sum, a prudent pause for prosperity. Imagine you've just plucked the golden apple from the tree of fortune. It's there, glistening with potential, the power to change your life in an instant. This, in essence, is the allure of the lump sum, a tantalizing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to grasp your newfound wealth in one fell swoop. However, Mark Cuban, the visionary entrepreneur, urges you to pause, to catch your breath amid the whirlwind of dreams and possibilities. His advice, much like the calm before the crescendo of a symphony, emphasizes prudence over impulse. The lump sum is a beguiling siren, whispering grand tales of extravagant purchases and instant gratification. Yet, Cuban's wisdom shines through as a lighthouse in this tumultuous sea of fortune. It's not about turning your back on the treasure. It's about recognizing the nuances of managing wealth and the art of painting your financial canvas in strokes, not broad swaths. The prudence of not succumbing to the immediate gratification of a lump sum win lies in safeguarding your newfound treasure. It's an understanding that wealth is not just about the climax, but the entire narrative. The chapters that unfold in your life post-win deserve to be written with intention, detail, and care. While the lump sum might offer the temptation of instant wealth, it also conceals the pitfall of impulsive spending. It's akin to having a bucket full of colorful marbles. The allure of dropping them all at once is undeniable. Yet by doing so, you risk losing the intricacy, the beauty, and the story they create when they're carefully placed, one by one, in the mosaic of your life. Cuban's wisdom is not just a pause. It's a deliberate act of claiming your wealth's full potential. It's like a chef tasting each ingredient before it goes into the pot, ensuring that every flavor harmonizes, creating a masterpiece. The lump sum is the jackpot's treasure chest, but the real artistry lies in knowing how to unlock its riches methodically. Ultimately, it's about understanding that wealth like fine wine, gets better with time. The allure of the lump sum is undeniable, but the prudence of patience is where true prosperity lies. In the symphony of newfound wealth, Cuban's advice serves as a tranquil movement, a pause for reflection and intention, ensuring that your financial journey becomes not just a crescendo, but a symphony of enduring success. Money is not synonymous with happiness, a philosophical reflection. Mark Cuban's third piece of advice is a profound philosophical reflection. Amidst the whirlwind of newfound wealth, he offers a gentle but crucial reminder. Money is not synonymous with happiness. It's a sentiment that transcends the clinking of coins and the rustle of bills, delving deep into the essence of what it means to lead a fulfilling life. In a world where the notion of the good life often appears inextricably linked to financial success, Cuban challenges this belief. He shines a spotlight on a fundamental truth. If you weren't happy yesterday, a sudden windfall won't magically transform your emotional landscape. This advice is akin to a whisper from a sage, 
offering an insight that reaches far beyond monetary considerations. It prompts a reflective pause, encouraging you to reassess what truly brings contentment. The takeaway is clear. Happiness is an intricate tapestry woven from the threads of experiences, relationships, personal growth, and a sense of purpose. Money can embellish this tapestry, but it is not the loom itself. Cuban's wisdom prompts you to scrutinize your passions, your dreams, and your connections with others. It invites you to explore the profound joys that life can offer, irrespective of your financial situation. In essence, it reiterates that the currency of happiness isn't found in banknotes, but in cherished moments, heartfelt laughter, and the bonds with those you hold dear. This is not a message of frugality or asceticism. It's a celebration of the deeper, non-material aspects of existence. In the voyage of life, Cuban's counsel becomes a compass that directs you toward the ports of emotional wealth and fulfillment. It beckons you to find happiness in the everyday, to cherish the simple pleasures, and to embrace the wealth of experiences that life unfolds. In an era where materialism often takes center stage, Cuban's philosophical advice serves as a poignant reminder that happiness, in its purest form, is a treasure more valuable than any jackpot. It's a unique and rare perspective that weaves a rich narrative within the tapestry of wealth, where each thread of joy and contentment adds to the portrait of a life well-lived. Money eases worries. The promise of financial liberation. In the symphony of life, money isn't the crescendo, it's the conductor's baton that orchestrates harmony. Mark Cuban's piece of advice carries the subtle promise of liberation, a profound insight into how newfound wealth can transform your life. Imagine this. You wake up, and the ever-present gnaw of financial concerns has vanished. Your heart beats a little lighter, your mind a bit clearer. The looming specter of unpaid bills, the fretful nights over mortgage payments, and the relentless drumbeat of everyday expenses are silenced. It's a sweet serenade of relief. Cuban reminds you that if yesterday was a canvas of contentment, tomorrow can be a masterpiece of joy. Money is not the end goal. It's the means to bask in life's vibrant tapestry without the nagging doubts that often shadow our days. It's the assurance that you can pursue passions, explore the world, and immerse yourself in experiences that once felt distant. In the realm of newfound wealth, the promise of this commandment is profound. The treasure chest you've uncovered becomes the key to doors previously locked. Imagine the joy of pursuing your hobbies without the worry of expenses. Picture the tranquility of planning for your children's future education without sleepless nights. Feel the liberation of giving back to your community, knowing your wealth can become a force for positive change. This advice transcends mere financial wisdom. It's a beacon of hope, a testament to the transformative power of financial security. Money becomes the silent guardian that wards off the shadows of stress and worry, allowing you to embrace life's most profound joys. In the grand symphony of newfound wealth, this commandment underscores that wealth isn't about hoarding riches. It's about crafting a life free from financial anxieties and resplendent with the melodies of happiness and contentment. The Gentle Art of Saying No A Lesson in Boundaries the allure of newfound wealth can be both a blessing and a perilous invitation to those from your past, and even those you scarcely know. Mark Cuban's fifth directive shines a light on a particularly challenging aspect of the lottery win journey, the delicate art of saying no. Picture this, your phone buzzes with messages from long-lost acquaintances, distant cousins, and old-school friends, all seeking a piece of the financial pie you've acquired. They come bearing stories of hardship, dreams, and can't miss business ideas. It's as if your newfound wealth has suddenly transformed you into a philanthropic oracle with limitless resources. Cuban's counsel is not just practical, it's a powerful lesson in self-preservation and astute resource management. He encourages you to draw a line in the sand, to set boundaries that separate genuine need from opportunistic desire. The paradox is that by saying no, you're not becoming a miserly guardian of wealth you're becoming a wise steward of your prosperity. Why the firm no? Because as Cuban aptly notes, no one needs $1 million for anything. No one needs 100 k for anything. Anyone who asks is not your friend. This wisdom offers a powerful filter, allowing you to sift through the requests and identify those who truly need your help and those who simply covet your newfound fortune. 
By saying no, you're not closing the door to generosity, you're opening it to the right beneficiaries. This act of discernment safeguards your wealth, preserving it for moments of genuine need, your own aspirations, and meaningful contributions to causes that align with your values. In a world where instant gratification often overshadows discernment, Cuban's advice serves as a reminder that sometimes the most profound act of generosity is to say no to the many, so you can wholeheartedly say yes to the few who truly matter. It's a lesson that encourages the preservation of wealth while ensuring that your fortune is a force for good in your life and in the lives of those you genuinely wish to assist. Not all winners are wise investors. A cautionary tale. As you stand at the crossroads of newfound wealth, Mark Cuban's sixth admonition is a cautionary tale, an eloquent reminder that a jackpot win doesn't transform you into a financial wizard. The allure of becoming an investment maestro can be strong, but Cuban, the financial oracle, imparts a different perspective. It's easy to be lured by the world of stocks, bonds, and investment portfolios, especially when you're suddenly privy to financial opportunities that were once distant dreams. Yet, Cuban urges a moment of pause and a candid reflection on your investment prowess. A lottery win doesn't magically confer financial acumen. It's akin to acquiring a shiny, high-speed vehicle without having the skills to navigate its complexities. His advice is a beacon of simplicity. Don't rush into investments. The alternative, often overlooked, is both safe and astute. Place your winnings in the bank. It's a move that assures lasting comfort and respite from the tumultuous seas of investment risks. It's akin to allowing your newfound wealth to repose in the arms of financial security, where it can grow steadily without the turbulence and volatility of the investment world. This wisdom isn't a retreat from financial growth. It's a deliberate strategy to protect and nurture your wealth. The bank becomes a sanctuary, guarding your assets against the capricious waves of market fluctuations. Your wealth accumulates. Your future remains secure and you sleep soundly knowing that you won't lose money in the labyrinth of risky investments. The allure of investment is undeniable, but it's a realm fraught with uncertainty. Even seasoned investors often grapple with its intricacies. Cuban's counsel is a gentle reminder that the pursuit of financial growth doesn't have to be hasty. It can be gradual, prudent, and safeguarded. In the story of your newfound wealth, this advice serves as the tranquil interlude a period of reflection, respite, and readiness. You are the steward of your prosperity. And just as you wouldn't sail into stormy seas without proper navigation, you shouldn't rush into investments without sound judgment. In this realm of caution and contemplation, your wealth becomes a fortress, well-protected and poised to thrive. It's a strategy that assures that your financial journey is a harmonious voyage, not a turbulent ordeal. However, don't be disheartened. Cuban's advice doesn't end here. He has a bonus tip for you as well. The art of being a likable billionaire. Mark Cuban, the sage of wealth, imparts a bonus pearl of wisdom. Be nice. No one likes a mean billionaire. In this simple but profound advice, he reveals the art of endearing oneself to the world, even when perched on the pinnacle of prosperity. Becoming a billionaire doesn't have to be synonymous with arrogance or callousness. In Cuban's world, kindness, Empathy and generosity are the pillars of a likable billionaire. It's a reminder that wealth doesn't have to isolate you from humanity. Rather, it can be a force for goodwill, compassion, and positive change. As you set your sights on the towering odds of winning the Powerball jackpot, 292.2 million to be precise, Cuban's voice of reason echoes, urging caution. The pursuit of dreams is a magnificent journey, but it's essential not to go overboard when buying tickets. It's the line between hope and excess, between the thrill of possibility and the abyss of impracticality. In Cuban's wisdom, you find not just a financial guide, but a philosophy for living. It's a testament to the harmonious coexistence of wealth and humility, the fusion of dreams and pragmatism. As you stand at the threshold of possibilities, his words guide your steps ensuring that even in the realm of astronomical odds, you walk with wisdom and grace. In the world of lottery wins, Mark Cuban's advice acts as a beacon of financial prudence. It emphasizes that the journey from rags to riches is best undertaken with a well-versed guide by your side. So when the stars align and the lottery win becomes your reality, 
Remember the words of a true financial sage. Hire a financial advisor. It's your first step towards securing your newfound wealth and ensuring that it lasts a lifetime.